Next Shark Andrew Yang receives backlash after tweeting in support of Israel New York mayoral candidate Andrew Yang is facing backlash from social media users after posting a tweet on Monday that appears to be pro-Israel. What happened? The former 2020 presidential candidate tweeted on Monday that he is standing with the people of Israel and condemn s the Hamas terrorists amid the conflict between Israel and the Palestinian militant group Hamas. The conflict between Israelis and Palestinians escalated due in part to heavy-handed Israeli policing of Palestinians during Ramadan and controversial efforts in the Israeli courts to evict Palestinians from their homes, BBC reported. The week The Daily Show's Trevor Noah carefully steps through the Israel-Palestine minefield to an honest question, Israel versus Palestine, and I know that even saying that sentence means I'm losing followers online and I'm on the verge of being blocked on all social media and in life," Trevor Noah said on Tuesday's Daily Show. But guys, we have to talk about it. Because this is one of the most difficult stories that has existed in our lifetime, even more than India versus Pakistan, China versus Tibet, or white people versus rhythm. Israel versus Palestine is a 73-year-old beef that has that has stumped everybody. Noah said, and because it has gone on for so long, people forget that it is ongoing. That is, until there are flare-ups that the world cannot ignore, like what happened this week. What makes the conflict so difficult to discuss is, all the layers that are packed into it, he said. No matter how much you try and break it down, people are always going to say that you're leaving out some crucial piece of context, and, they're probably right. There's the Holocaust, Britain's seizure of Palestine, clashing religions, and surrounding countries with their own agendas," Noah said. And you know what makes it even harder is the fact that who's right and who's wrong always seems to change depending on when you start measuring time. This week was the perfect, perfect example of it. But, I don't want to have that argument, he said, the part where we say who's good and who's bad and who started it. Let's step away from that and instead ask a different question. Instead, Let's look at who's dead and who's alive this week. It's just not a fair fight," Noah concluded, and I know this is contentious, and I know people are going to hate me for this, but I just want to ask an honest question here. If you are in a fight where the other person cannot beat you, how hard should you retaliate when they try to hurt you? He ran through some imperfect personal analogies, admitted he didn't have any answers, and left viewers with one question. When you have this much power, what is your responsibility? More stories from the week.